let's get a check on the local boss now from yesterday's close for the first time since January 10th, 2024. Uh, the NGX closing bearish zone. The all share index declined by about 1.5%. Uh, uh, take a look at uh, the numbers there. 103,000 uh, uh, points, but still above that 100,000 mark. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a first pullback in about uh, 20 days. 1.49% uh, drop. And we see the uh, market cap uh, total capitalization there at 56.42 uh, uh, trillion. Let's look at the uh, trading uh, volume and activity now. We see it's, uh, it's uh, lower than what we had the previous day for volume, 648 million is uh, down by 5.9. Uh, 4%. We see value there, 11 billion. That's what's traded down 57%. And deals, 14,000, less than, um, definitely less than the previous day. Let's look at sectoral performance. Let's see how that's uh, looking. We know the banking counter is still on that uh, massive, 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 big, big, big drop there for the banking counter, 6.73%. We saw all the tier one banks down, big, 9%, uh, 8%. And we saw some tier two banks also um, hit hard there by profit taking consumer goods 2.59 percent all red and the insurance the insurance counter uh, that was also the financial services that's now 6.44 percent mirroring what we saw with the banking counter industrial goods that's been the uh, the the shiner for uh, 2024 in january because this market this uh, sector has been up uh, big, big uh, jumps uh, so far with the cement giants always propping up that counter, propping up the whole market. I uh, was seeing some profit taking there, but not as big as what we have in other counters. 0.39 percent. Um, that's the drop. Uh, so let's bring in uh, Mukta uh, Muhammad now, uh, a financial market analyst. Uh, join us via Zoom. Great to have you on the show, Mukta. Thank you, thank you, Gladi. Yeah, Thanks so for having me. Yeah, fantastic. So we're seeing a, a drop now. First one in about uh, 20 days. So the question now is: Is this b the beginning of a major correction or just a healthy pullback? I don't know why people talk about cor correction. Correction is when you think the 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 the, the, the violation is um, very very um, low. I mean, too high to meet up. But I think what we are seeing, we are seeing a, a little bit of pullback. I don't think it's market correction. It's just a little bit of pullback. And like you said, the, your, but the volume is still low. It's, the volume is not as the volume that uh, we, we, we saw in, in, in uh, maybe a lot of people are trying to sell the, the previous day. So the volume is still low. So there's still a lot of opportunity there. So I don't think so. It's a pullback. And it's a pullback that will create an um, opportunity for people that have lost um, entering maybe the previous one to begin to look at how to strategize later. Not to forget that the earnings season is approaching, and these four major banks that you saw those pull back from and are banks that would definitely pay good dividends to the investors. Yeah, and looking at the banking counter, it's been on a steady, you know, downward trend. We've seen a lot of profit taking, you know, on that counter. Do you think it's uh, is, it, there's still more downside, you know, coming for that banking counter, or is it time to buy the dip? Well, I think it's, it depends on what strategy you are adopting. I don't think it's time to buy the deep because you, you need to look at um, which of the banking sectors have gone or where they're really over, or, I mean, where they're overpriced and, uh, and stuff like that. But I think um, for the tier one bank, there's still a lot of opportunities there. Um, again, um, it, like I said, depending on your strategy, if you're somebody that thinks that cash is, cash is king in an economy like this, when, especially when the economy has some drawback, like what we are seeing in Nigeria, then you need to jump into those banking stocks to get those uh, good dividend payout that we think they would definitely pay. So that's that's a good that's that one is is, is good for, for those investors that are looking for cash. But again, if you're an investor that are looking for capital appreciation, you are not to the type that's waiting for the dividend payout. And those are the investors that are actually pulling back down, now bringing down those prices. That uh, it's not the best time for you to enter. Maybe you wait until after the results have been released then. You strategize to re-enter, especially when you are awaiting the first quarter result. So it depends on your strategy. Yeah, and, and, and definitely being an investor, you know, in this market, uh, definitely not an easy time. We're having to deal with uh, a currency devaluation and rising inflation. So your, your cash is actually losing, you know, value. So at, at this point, you know, some investors might say, you know what, let me stay in cash. But is, that's getting ripped off by inflation and, you know, currency devaluation. So what do you think is the best strategy, you know, for 2024? Knowing that this market has been in a bull market for a while now, and there's a risk that there might be some major or a major pullback, you know, at some point. 
what would you say is the best strategy to hedge against inflation and currency devaluation in 2024? Yeah, Ladi, I need, I, need, I need to make a point clear. When people talk about currency devaluation and when people talk about holding the, 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 the dollar to comparable to the Naira, I have this analogy that I keep saying. The only time the dollar makes sense is when you convert it back to the Naira. Any dollar that is not giving you a return up to like 4 to 10% is definitely not. Uh, your, your dollar value is going down. The only time you see the value, the value of the dollar goes up is when you exchange it to the Naira, Nigerian Naira and when you, are, when you are about to do business in Nigeria. But if you are doing business outside the shore of this country, the value of the dollar, it's, I mean, once it's not, you are not adding anything to it, then it's going down. So now, what is your strategy? Like I said, um, liquidity is king in any economy. And so when you have this liquidity, sometimes they help you to take advantage of cheap assets. And those cheap assets will come in when there is a pullback, like what you are seeing now. So uh, if, 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 if my strategy is, if I'm looking for ways to buy more assets, then I think of having more liquidity. I won't keep my, 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 my Naira just lying down fallow. I will try to use my Naira to buy cheap assets because of the devaluation of the currency. Because now that means some of the assets are cheap. And now when you talk about um, how to age inflation, Ladi, I think you and I have said this before. I think the only place that have beat inflation is the equity market. And as it stands, so it's still where, to, where they will keep on beating inflation. Now, secondly, when people talk about the pullback, are we going to get those, those corruption? I said the time will normally have those corruption. It's when you have the, yeah, the foreign investors that are pulling out a lot of cash out of the economy, trying to take it to the economy. As it stands now, foreign investment in, in Nigeria, especially in the equity market, is 15 years low. And so 95%, according to the NGS edX, 95% of those that are in the equity market today are Nigeria. So the pullback, like I said, is just temporary. And we have retail investors like the pension fund and the straight to high net investors. They are still there because they believe so much in this economy. So... I don't think there's any cause for anyone to for alarm yet. All right, according to Mukta, no cause for alarm. But let's look at well, you, you did mention his earning uh, season. It's upon us, you know. At this point, we've seen some audited and unaudited, you know, results at this uh, time. But let's um, uh, take a spotlight on the audited, you know, result we have so far. And that's uh, talking about Girigou uh, Power PLC. We see revenue uh, 83 billion uh, for the financial year 2023, up 74 percent. Operating profit, that's up about 110%. Profit before tax, you see that's uh, 61%. Dividend uh, proposed 20 um, billion naira. So uh, looking at this result, uh, Mokta, how are you seeing this? It uh, looks uh, quite impressive. Very, very impressive because, but again, the, 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 the other news is that this, the, the 20 billion um, dividend payout, 78.25% um, of that 70 billion is going to, to Femi to dollar. So there are many people who have to share the percentage. Before now, um, the, 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 um, the holding was about 95.55% belonging to Femi to dollar. But um, at this report now, we're seeing that about 78%, and the other one. I think it's owned by most institutional investors. So um, if I'm an investor, definitely, um, I don't think um, you, want to, you want to go there now because, again, uh, the price has really gone up, and, but the results are fantastic. But like I said, um, the result is fantastic, especially for Femi to the lad. That, that would definitely keep him in the Fox News, uh, Fox home, um, 20 richest African for a very long time. Um, in terms of performance, then you, when you look at the price, then you look at the sector that he plays, which is the power sector, and then you look at Transcorp, you look at the price Transcorp is, is at this moment, and then you, you want to begin to take a second look. So for Gregor, I think it's a good result, but I say, like I said, the good result mostly favored um, uh, Mr. Femi Otodela, the, the billionaire. So um, result fantastic, but again, uh, we'll see whether there will be any, any, any game changer in them acquiring more asset in terms of, uh, in, especially in the area of um, generation, which the government is saying that they will do a little bit of sales. They will maybe hand over generation. I think Gerego will want to play an important role there. I think for me, that would be the only way that they will grow their revenue. But not to forget that the electricity company has also increased their tariff, even if um, that has not come to the end user yet, because government is taking last chunk of that. Definitely when that comes in to the end users and a lot of end users, we we'll find themselves paying more for power. That also will, will have effect on the bottom line. Well, now I think it's a good result, but like I said, especially for Femi Todela. Right. So looking at, you know, uh, other earnings that we'll be expecting, you know, at this point, how do you see, you know, these earnings shaping 
uh, the investor sentiment, you know, in this uh, quarter? Yeah, um, Ladi, sometimes when these earnings start coming, we realize that it has already been priced in by investors, and sometimes you don't see those capital appreciation that you, you definitely want to see. But again, I think, um, like I say, cash is king when you have an economy like this, and especially when you have um, liquid cash to reinvest into the market, and that's what most investors do with their dividend payout, especially those I, um, I net investors. So um, investors will be keen to get those some of those cash, um, especially for this tier one bank, and also not forget the conglomerate. Also, I'm I'm sure their result will begin to pour in any time from now because if, uh, they are almost all of them are in a close season. So definitely, um, it's it's a good time for investors. And most investors will start smiling to the bank. But I like I always say, it depends on uh, uh, when you enter the market because if you are in the banking sector, equity you entered when Access Bank was at a low of 13 naira and it's at a high of about even if it's it closed at about 20, 26 naira. You still make a lot of capital appreciation. You want to take those dividends uh, also to also aid against inflation, which you have really right. talked about already. So right. definitely, I think um, investors will still be looking at those uh, equity that we pay in cash. Okay, well, it's the final trading day of what are you expecting uh, for the close of trade um, today and what are you projecting for February? I think when the close of trade today, I think there will be a little bit um, drawback. We might not see the kind of losses we saw yesterday, uh, even if we might get there. But I don't think it will see some recovery from some uh, major equities, especially the, the, the banking sector. Um, in the month of February, it will all be determined with a trigger. And like I said, that trigger will have to come in in terms of earnings, uh, earnings that will hit the market sometime between February and March. So in February, I expect the market to be, to be uh, ups and down, investors being cautious waiting for that result. Once one of those results hit the market and it's fantastic, then you begin to see the effect on other um, equity going forward. But I think in the month of February, right. we'll see we'll what we'll definitely. investors do. Wait and see. Right, definitely a wait and see game. Let's see what uh, February, you know, has to has in its uh, in possession because we know it's the month of love. Let's see if we're going to see some love in this uh, market. Thank you so much, uh, Mukta Mohammed, uh, CEO of Financial Mukta. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Ladi. You have a pleasant day. You too. All right. So let's uh, see what's happening with our listed market. 1,054 points, 2.84%. Uh, That's the jump uh, we see there uh, for the unlisted market. Uh, we see the volume uh, traded 92% down. Value, um, that's about 1,000%. Uh, Big jump there in value of uh, stocks traded in the unlisted markets. 17 deals, 30% more. And uh, stocks uh, traded about, about four um, units at 42.86%. Uh, percent. And we see the top trades, uh, uh, that's for uh, the listed uh, market there, that's for the NGX. Japol Gold, 59.79 uh, million. It's Transcore, 52.06 uh, million. And we see Access Core, 46.81 uh, million. So, uh, countdown now. Going to see what's going to happen uh, for the final trading day of uh, January. So that's how the market is looking. And uh, that's what we're expecting you know, going forward for the close. Thank you for watching. It's back to the Sunrise team now.